Hello, I am Arun from Support Host. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss about how to revoke OpenVPN issued certificates. We are testing this option in a Windows machine, but we can also use the same procedure on a Linux box too. In our case, we use ECRSA3 scripts to revoke SSL TLS certificate of OpenVPN service. First of all, revoking a certificate means to invalidate a previously signed certificate so that it can no longer be used for OpenVPN client authentication purposes. Typical reason for wanting to revoke a certificate include 1. The private key associated with the certificate is compromised or stolen. Second, the user of an encrypted private key forgets the password on the key. Third, you want to terminate a VPN user's access. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when we post new videos. Alright, let's get started. First thing is login to the OpenVPN server where typically the OpenVPN client certificates got generated and signed with CA certificate. Now open the Windows command prompt and go to the directory c colon slash program files slash openvpn slash ec iPhone rsa. After that launch ecrsa shell for that issue the commands first cd space c colon slash program files slash openvpn slash ec iphone rsa after go to the ecrsa directory now run the command ecrsa iphone start dot bat so let's issue these commands in the terminal and wait until it got completed Basically, these commands will initialize ECRSA startup scripts using the ECRSA iPhone start.bat script. Now, to show the details of the client certificate that we currently use can be get by issuing the command dot slash ECRSA space show iPhone cert space client. In this command, replace the client field with your own client certificate name. So let's issue this command in the terminal and wait until it got completed. From the screen, we can see the details of the client certificate we issued. After that, let's try to connect to our OpenVPN server using this client certificate. For that, go to the OpenVPN client PC and from the hidden notification area right click the open VPN icon and click connect. Wait until the connection establishment got completed. A successful connection will show a green color inside the open VPN hidden icon. So this means that right now our open VPN client certificate is valid and can use this certificate for OpenVPN authentication from client side. Now let's see how this already using OpenVPN client certificate can be revoked. For that from the ECRSA shell itself issue the command dot slash ECRSA space revoke space client. Here replace the client name with your own client certificate name. So let's issue this command in the terminal. Type yes and hit enter to confirm the revocation. Wait until the command execution completes. Once completed, we will see the message as revocation was successful. The revoke command script will generate a CRL that is certificate revocation list file called crl.pem under the directory c colon slash program files slash open vpn slash ec iphone rsa slash pki 
now to create an updated crl that contains all revoked certs up to this point we need to issue the command dot slash ecrsa space gen iphone crl so let's issue this command in the terminal and wait until it got completed you will see a message as an updated crl has been created with the crl file location as c colon slash program files slash open vpn slash ec iphone rsa slash pk with the file name as crl dot pm after generation of update updated crl dot pm file the next step is we need crl verification should be enabled in the open vpn server configuration file then only all connecting clients will have their client certificates verified against the crl and any positive match will result in the connection being dropped from open vpn server side so for that open the file named server dot ovpn under the directory c colon slash program files slash open vpn slash config using any text editor here i am using notepad and from the screen you can see i already opened the file in that i added the line crl iphone verify space in the double quotes c colon slash slash program files slash slash open vpn slash slash ec iphone rsa slash slash pk slash slash crl dot pm after the tls iphone auth line save the content and exit from the text editor when the crl iphone verify option is used in open vpn config the crl file will be reread anytime a new client connects or an existing client renegotiate the ssl tls connection by default this will happen once per hour this means that you can update the crl file while the open vpn server domain is running and have the new crl take effect immediately for new newly connecting clients but in our case for immediate testing i am stopping the open vpn server service and starting it again so let's do that from the windows hidden notification area and this completes the open vpn ssl tls client certificate revocation procedure now let's test it out whether the client connection using the revoked certificate is being denied by the open vpn server for that go to the open vpn client pc again where this revoked client certificate using and try to connect to the open vpn server again here from the screen we can see the client will try to connect for a while and it will get failed after that in the meantime if we go to the server open vpn log we will see message like verify error with error as certificate revoked for client certificate name client and this means that after revocation the client open vpn client connection is not being established and it getting failed and in this video guide we discussed how to revoke the open vpn certificate using ecrsa 3 scripts i hope this video is informative Thanks for watching give us a thumbs up if you like the video and also leave your thoughts at the comment box see you soon on next video